Okay, so as you can see, the farming contest is over. Over. Hey, we got gold. Yeah. Let's see the final results. Gold. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Luke, and today we're going to be showing you how to get bronze and mushrooms. I meant gold. How to get gold. But first, we should show them how to get an easy bronze. Now, as beginners, the best money making for us was coming here and farming these. You can actually get bronze pretty easy here at the Mushroom Desert. So, how many do you need typically to get bronze? Uh, about three hundred to five hundred. Yeah, so you can um, you can harvest these mushrooms. These are mushroom blocks, and you can just run around from here to here to here to here in this little area. Make sure you kind of have it to yourself. And if anybody else is here, try to beat them to the mushrooms. But if you farm this area during a Jacob's contest, uh, it's pretty easy to get bronze. Yeah. Maybe sometimes a little bit difficult, but uh, typically when we stayed in this area, we would get bronze. So that was some of our first bronze. Okay. And we used it to buy what I'm holding right now, which is a fungi cutter. And the interesting thing about the fungi cutter is um, you can switch between modes. And when you switch between modes, you gain 30% mushroom drops. Yeah, so that's, it's actually not that difficult because we've planted our mushrooms in such a way that it's pretty easy to click and know exactly what you're harvesting. So, with that said, let's show them how to make a mushroom. A mushroom farm. Okay, now we're here. Time to show you how to build this. Yeah, this is our glorious and epic mushroom farm. And actually, mushrooms, once you start to get used to them, are pretty easy. Uh, and the nice thing about them is you only harvest the outside rows and then mushrooms spread. Um, and because they spread, you don't have to replant the ones in the center. You don't have to do any replanting. So like the enchant like replenish isn't needed in a mushroom farm. So mushrooms are actually really good for the beginning farmer. Um, the other interesting thing about mushrooms is they compete with each other. There can only be so many in a large area. So that's why this this planted original mushroom will spread out here, but it's not competing with the space of these red mushrooms over here. Hence the reason this red mushroom spreader is uh, far away from this one. So this grid pattern looks a little bit spread out, but it's spread out on purpose to prevent uh, the mushrooms from competing with each other. Mm -hmm. You can only have so many mushrooms. Bottom line is you can only have so many mushrooms in a given area. So this is after multiple YouTube research videos at the end of the day, this is probably, I don't know if there's any better mushroom method or farming technique than this. Yes. Okay. So uh, if you've made it this far, it's time for a bad dad trick. So what's the name of this? Uh, tool I'm holding. Fun guy cutter. Okay, that's a tip. That's part of the joke. All right, I don't know if you know this, Luke, but uh, my best friend is a mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, he's a pretty fun guy. I've heard that one. There you go. All right, uh, so now it's off to how to build this. It's actually really simple. Uh, we'll do just two rows for you. We'll kind of time lapse it a little bit. Um, and then once I finish these two rows, we'll come back and tell you the technique of how to plan it and we'll be good to go. So it's time for a bit of a time lapse. Yeah. Okay, so there you go, we've created them now. So let me show you the pattern real quick. Um, you can see, I'll, I'll call it the railroad track pattern. Because yeah. like, look, there's the railroad track. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy, right? Uh, so we have two there, uh, but just to show you what that looks like is you go to your nearest row, you extend out two blocks, and then you plant your new railroad track. And then there's one railroad tie in between 
and then your new line, right? So those go extend this way, right? So let me take out that middle piece. You don't want it because uh, the mushrooms will spread on that. So you actually want to remove it. But there you go. So there was two spaces here, then your railroad line, right? And your railroad line. But the other thing that's important because you don't want the mushrooms to compete with each other as they're spreading for space. So the maximum and the ideal is for there to be four blocks in between. So one, two, three, four, and then another railroad tie in between. So, and then this is the most satisfying part in my opinion, is planting the mushrooms all the way down. But here, let me show you the technique that I just recently discovered. So you take your fungi cutter out, turn it to the red mushroom mode, and you wanna just barely hover. You're flying and you just wanna barely hover above the mushrooms, right? And then if you're lucky and you have the right angle, you can actually go full speed, hit your control speed boost. So just, just outside of that range, like not too far, but just barely, right? Too far, just barely, right? Once you have that and you're lined up perfectly, you can speed boost and look at all those beautiful mushrooms get harvested at maximum speed. Ta-da! Now to do this, you either need a booster cookie or a magical soup. So then, just to finalize what we're doing here, is I like to maintain this pattern. So this side of the railroad ties is gonna be the brown mushrooms. So, dink, 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 right? And then this side will be the red mushrooms and we'll continue that pattern all the way down. See, ooh, look, look how quick that one guy spread out. All right, talk to him about lighting real quick while I finish this row. Okay, so the thing about lighting is that for my mycelium, you don't really need lighting. Yeah, so this block we're holding is mycelium. You can get it from the builder's hub. Yes. Mycelium yeah. is the most forgiving. There's a, the other one as well, but we like mycelium just because of the way it looks. It's the most forgiving. It doesn't care about lighting conditions and it doesn't care if you're under, under cover, right? But if you were planting on dirt, you need kind of medium lighting and you need to be under a, a structure. So just spend the extra money, start with mycelium. It's we did experimentation. We tried a little bit of everything. We even did uh, redstone torches because they give off the perfect amount of medium light. But at the end of the day, go with mycelium. Yeah. Okay, guys, we'll see you back for a gold medal attempt in the next farming contest. Okay, so as you can see, the farming contest is over over hey we got gold yeah. let's see the final results gold so there you go that's how to do it getting gold and mushroom is actually not too hard um the only weakness in our strategy is that you kind of need two layers of mushrooms to to get there and as you can see uh we don't quite have two layers of mushrooms yeah. so i'm gonna end this video so make sure to like subscribe and see ya Dude, you're, you gotta keep it consistent.